after the oil spill, it seemed like people really lost a lot of trust in science. They had great expectations that science would be able to answer all of the questions they had immediately. And here it is five years later, and we're still looking for some of the answers. A lot of that information that was right before the spill and then during the spill and then after the spill was all based on trying to understand the impact for the court case. Um, there's a tremendous amount of data that's being collected. Some of it is available, some of it won't be available ever, and some of it will be available you know, after the, the, the case is completely settled. Um, but, and hopefully those data will, will be out and we'll be able to understand um, some about the system from those data. We should be able to understand a lot about the system from those data. Um, but those data weren't collected for science. Uh, given the huge amount of resources that have been put into this, there are big revelations in a lot of different categories. But the answers are still probably not going to be completely satisfying to people. Because science is full of disclaimers. And part of that is because of the process of science. Uh, and part of that is that some of the things that people are studying haven't really happened yet. We still have different life stages to go through for some of the organisms that might have been affected. Some of the larger organisms have longer lives and we can't know what's going to happen to them until we see a full life cycle of those organisms. But the way science works is that we're going to answer questions that we set out to answer but at the, in the meantime new things are going to pop up. So there are questions we don't even know yet. Um, that may not be asked for five years or 10 years or 20 years that we never would have been able to answer, but we might be able to answer them now because we had the resources, the funding um, to address them. We kind of look at it as a 20 year plan, but there are gonna be questions answered about the oil spill in two decades still. So um, another decade, we'll have a lot more to say. We have a lot more to say today than we had to say uh, five years ago. So people are very interested in what happened to the oil and what's the effect of the dispersants. Oh. The answer is that we've got some toxicological studies that show that um, organisms are um, maybe more adversely affected by uh, oil and dispersant mix than they are by oil on its own. Um, and that, that's one result that's come up, but there are other results that don't absolutely agree with that one. And so the problem is that we can't comprehensively say anything <laughs> about what's the effect of the dispersant because it's different on different animals and it's different in different parts of the ocean and on, and on the different parts of the coast where the oil hit. So two decades out, I think people will have a better understanding of what's going on with the oil spill. Um, honestly, I think five years out, we have a better understanding of what's going on with the oil spill, but it's pieces of information, and as you say, they don't make a bigger picture. So in another five years, we'll have something more like the big picture answer for what happened as a result of the oil spill. Um, and then in 20 years, it will be an even better understanding. It's since 2010, you know, the, the ramping up of science and resources for science has been phenomenal, and it's going to continue to be extraordinary compared to everywhere else in the, at least in the U.S. But here you have the Gulf of Mexico and money's coming into the Gulf of Mexico. So it's helping us catch up to an historical deficit of funding. We're hoping to now sort of launch from that deficit that we've had through the spill and then to capitalize on, on those resources that are here so that we can build the Gulf scientific research community uh, better than it's ever been and and with all the monies that that are coming in it would be I would I would venture to say that this will be the best Studied body of water in the world, you know 30 years down the road We'll know more about the Gulf of Mexico than we'll know about any other body of water